Hello and welcome again to Immigration News and Views. My name is David Nachman and I'm one of the managing attorneys at the Nachman Fawani Zimocek Law Group. We have offices located in Ridgewood, New Jersey. We also have offices located in Manhattan, in New York City, and we also have an office located in Indianapolis. Uh, we also have a presence in Boston and we're developing a presence right now in Chicago, Illinois. Thanks very much for uh, being with me today. I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about an issue that is uh, one that we seem to be getting on a very frequent basis. Um, and it, it's no surprise to me because individuals are always trying to figure out how to increase the possibility or probability of winning the H-1B lottery. Uh, in some of our other segments, we talk about the H-1B lottery. We've talked about how H-1Bs are chosen in the lottery. As everyone knows, there are 65,000 H-1Bs available for individuals who have a baccalaureate degree or its U.S. equivalent, or an individual who has a master's degree from the United States can enter into the 20,000. So the way that the lottery works is that uh, the first, uh, all the visas are submitted to the uh, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, USCIS office. And then what they do is they separate the masters and they separate the bachelors. They first run uh, a, uh, they first choose 20,000 in a random lottery from the master's degree. And then what they do is they take the master's degree, they dump it into the, into the others, and then they run a lottery on the 65,000 from the masters and the bachelors that have been created by that uh, first pool. So. One of the questions that we get frequently from uh, callers it has to do with, uh, is it possible for me to be able to submit multiple H-1Bs? So it's pretty clear in the rules that you cannot submit multiple H-1Bs. In other words, employers are not allowed to submit uh, multiple H-1Bs for a single beneficiary, for the same person. However, if an individual has uh, different H-1Bs for different jobs being offered to them from different employers, that is, a, that is actually permissible. So there is an ability to submit multiple H-1Bs. So for example, if you have, let's say, uh, an offer from ABC Company in Boston, uh, and then you have uh, an offer from XYZ Company in Chicago, and you have a, uh, another offer from um, a CDE Company in California, those visas, you can submit those visa applications. The trick is, though, that there can't be a relationship between company, that first company, second company, and third company, and it can't be done for the purposes of gaming the system. However, if they are bona fide H-1Bs that are being submitted for those employers, then that is permissible. So that's one way to increase your chances. If, let's say, you possess a skill set, which, of course, is in high demand, and you have multiple employers that are willing to take a shot at you and willing to uh, do your H-1B in the lottery, then there's no reason not to take advantage of that opportunity. With any questions that you might have about this issue or any other H-1B non-immigrant visa issues, please feel free to reach out for me or one of the other attorneys here in our office. You can do so by calling the number on your screen or by emailing us at the email address on your screen. We'd be more than happy to assist you. We look forward to assisting you and your employer with regard to your H-1Bs in this, uh, uh, this fiscal year. Um, and we look forward to preparing those H-1Bs and getting them in before the filing deadline on April 1st. Thanks very much for being with me today, and take care for now.